What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Boo Boy Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, Eddie Hearn is on his way to um, L.A. Actually, he landed in L.A. in the States yesterday um, to, to start negotiations between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, which uh, Eddie Hearn has stated that negotiations are easier to make, seeing as though uh, Wilder, Tyson Fury ended in a draw. He said it couldn't have been no perfect ending for, for them as far as negotiations go. He said because... Had Deontay Wilder had knocked out um, Tyson Fury in two rounds, um, he states that uh, it would be very, very difficult to negotiate, seeing as though Deontay, Rock, Deontay Wilder would have more leverage in negotiations. See, this goes back to what I've been telling y'all. I told y'all before, and, and everybody don't listen to all, it doesn't matter what he does versus Tyson Fury because uh, Tyson Fury is, has been out the ring for, for two years. He only had two tuna fights. He wasn't ready, so on and so forth. But now, um, Eddie Hearn is confirming what I've been telling y'all, that if, Ty if Deontay Wilder was to win this fight in, the, um, in a dramatic fashion, uh, that he would his negotiation power, his negotiation stock would go through the roof with them, as far as they was concerned. You know, and Eddie Hearn has n since confirmed that. You know, he said that, uh, it, it, that it was the perfect ending for them as far as negotiations with both fighters. Because if, if Tyson Fury had won, you know, negotiation, because he says that now um, Anthony Joshua has put Tyson Fury on the table. He doesn't mind having a fight with Tyson Fury as well. So now he's saying that um, it was the perfect ending for them in both situations because um, if it was Tyson Fury, it would be even more difficult to make a fight, seeing as though Tyson Fury is the lineal heavyweight champ. He beat Vladimir Klitschko before Anthony Joshua did, and he never lost his titles, and he's still undefeated and would have went and traveled to um, Vladimir Klitschko to beat him to his backyard and then traveled to the States to beat Deontay Wilder in his backyard. So now Eddie Hearn is stating that negotiations should be just that much easier to make uh, the fight between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. Anthony Joshua is on 100% um, go for this fight. Um, Anthony Joshua feels like Deontay Wilder is there for the pick, and he feels like he can knock out Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, is what Eddie Hearn stated that Anthony Joshua has told him. Funny thing is, Anthony Joshua said he wasn't going to watch the fight. Well, I guess we know that that wasn't true unless he watched the replays already. But, um... And it's possible that Anthony Joshua did watch the replays, but I'm pretty sure he stayed up and watched this fight. But now he 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 has the the cojones, he has the the uh, the heart. Now he feels like he could knock both of them out, and he's telling Eddie Hearn to make the fight. So I I believe that April 13th we will get Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. Uh, he said he did state that he got to they have to um see what what the negotiations are for the rematch and what's the rematch clause for Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder before they can make a fight. Uh, they, he did say that um, before Dillian White, he confirmed that Dillian White versus Derek Sassoro winner was the front runner. And now um, they were on the table and it was just them and hopes to making a Wilder fight. If the Wilder fight didn't happen and now Tyson Fury is a player in the game, Anthony Joshua put him on the table because Anthony Joshua now feels like he could beat both fighters. So this, the, you know what, this was, the, this was uh, a, a gift and a curse for Deontay Wilder. You know, he didn't perform his best. Tyson Fury performed a hell, like a hell of a champion. I told you guys that he would. I thought the fight would go 11 rounds with Deontay Wilder behind on the cards and stop Tyson Fury in the 11th rounds. I thought he was behind on the cards and stopped Tyson Fury in the 12th round. I thought Tyson Fury might have edged it out. But needless to say, you know, this was the perfect... I told you guys that this was the perfect situation because now Anthony Joshua feels like they're vulnerable and he could, he could beat both and he's going to take the fight. So... Stay tuned. That's all I got for y'all, man. And Eddie Hearn is in the States right now negotiation, negotiating with Shelly Finkel and Deontay Wilder's team. That's all I got, man. It's your boy, Blue Boo Bus Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Bus Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. Peace.